Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial of Dynamics 365 Sales. In this particular video, we will see how to set up a product, product family and product bundle. And then we will see how these three components help us to develop a uh, product hierarchy so that we can effectively use these products in a opportunity or in orders, quotes or in invoice. And then we will see how we can set up a product properties into a product family so that we can inherit those product properties in a product or in a product bundle okay so here I, I have just pasted a screenshot of how the product hierarchy will look so here you can see at the top we have a product family called television and below that I just added one product as well as a product bundle the right side box is for a product the left side box is for a product bundle so for this particular example I have taken a two level of hierarchy but in real life scenario, we can have multiple levels of product hierarchy. So we can have one uh, product family as a top one or like we can call it as a, a parent family. And below that parent family, we can have multiple child families. And then below child families, we can associate a product or product bundle. Okay. So with this, we will go to Dynamics 365 Sales Hub application. And then we will see all those components in action. So to access the product and product families page, I need to go to app settings. From here, I need to choose families and products. So at the top, I can see family, product and bundle. So for this particular demo, I will first add a family. So I will just go back to our example. So this is our product family television so i will first create a product family called television so since this is a product family i don't have to worry about other fields so i will just enter the name and product id and i will click on save and close so this is my family that i created and now i will just create a product i will create this product tv1 32 inch and i will associate this particular product with this product family To associate a product with product family we need to set the product family here in this parent field so in case if i want to set a valid from and valid to date for this product i can add it over here but for now i'm not adding all these things only i am entering the mandatory information and i will select a default unit group here and then i will select a default unit and i will save this product so for any product we need to uh, set up a default price list i will select a default price list over here for now i am not explaining the unit group unit and price list concepts in the coming videos we will talk about unit groups and price list items okay so now i just added this product over here so every time we add a product we just need to set up the pricing okay so for that i will go to additional details tab and from price list items I will just select the default price list that we already selected and then I will select the pricing also. So I am just giving some random value over here. Now my product creation is completed. I have given the basic information over here and for this particular product I have set the price as 32,000. Okay. Now we need, I will create a product bundle. So before creating a product bundle I need to have another product so this product bundle is for TV and stand so TV product I have already created I will create one more product for stand now I will create one more product called TV stand Here also I will be giving the default unit group unit and I will also select the default price list. Sorry, I need to give a unique product ID over here. And 
okay now my uh, second product is ready and for this second product also i need to set up a price for this product i will set a price as 2000 now both of my products are ready tv and stand now i will create a new product bundle and i will associate these two products inside a bundle so this is my uh, bundle creation page So here I am going to associate this bundle with my family. To do that, I will just select this family in the parent lookup. So for uh, bundles as well, we need to uh, set up the uh, price list. Okay. So earlier, if you see, I have given the price of television as 32,000 and for TV stand as 2,000. So totaling it up will come around, uh, come to 34,000. But when we sell these two things as a bundle, we will sell for 33,000. So that customers will get upfront 1,000 rupees discount. As next step, I need to add bundle products. So this bundle products tab will not be available when you create a product family and a normal product but when only when you create a product bundle this product uh, this bundle products tab will be visible from here i can add the two products that we have already created one is television and the other one is television stand first i am adding the television product over here and here i am setting this particular product as required in this bundle Then I will add the television stand. I am also setting this product as well required here so that we can sell this product when these two products are included. Now all my things are ready. I will just change the view to draft. So I have my product family. I have uh, two products product one and product two. And I also have my product bundle. So now if I just click on this hierarchy icon from my family, I will see all the components in detail. Television, this is my family. And below that, I have two components. One is my bundle and the other one is my product. Now we will see this product properties thing. So from my product family, I am going to add a property over here. So every product will have different properties, right? It can be your size or it can be based on the color or we have different other property also. For this particular example, I will just create a property for color. Okay, so that television color can be of a black, white or gray color, right? So I will just create a property over here for color. And here we have three other options. Whether this particular uh, property should be a read only or required or hidden. If I give this particular property as read only, then the seller who is going to use this particular product in opportunity will not be able to change this property. And if I set this required as yes, then before progressing the opportunity, the seller should mandatorily enter value for this opportunity. Sorry, enter value for this particular property in opportunity line. And if I set this particular property as hidden, then the seller will not be able to see this particular property in the opportunity line. For now, I will just set this particular uh, property as mandatory and I will not set all other things. And then I will enter the property type here. So we have these much options. For color, I will choose option set. And then I will save this particular record. And from here, I can add the option set values for my color. First, I will add black and then white 
and then I will add gray color. So within this color property, now I have three different values. One is black, white and gray. Now if I just open my product one television and here if I go to this product properties, I can see the same property over here. The properties that I am creating in my product family will also be automatically associated with my product. So here also you can see the same property inherited in case if I want to add some additional properties within my product I can do it from here but for now I'm not going to add any additional properties I will go with this single property and similarly if I open my bundle here also I will be seeing the same property inherited from my parent family okay now before using all these components in my opportunity I need to activate my products so first I will go and activate my TV one product so for that I will just publish it currently you can see it is in draft status but after publishing okay so before publishing any product we need to publish the associated uh, family so here in this case I will first publish this particular product family TV stand and finally I will publish my bundle so once I published everything it will move to active view okay so now what I will do right so we have all the components ready I have my family I have my products and bundles now I will just go to opportunity and create a new opportunity and we will include these products in our opportunity to add a product to this opportunity I need to go to products tab here before adding a product I will just set the revenue type of system calculator so that the estimated revenue calculation will be based on the products that I am adding okay so now we have the individual products as well as bundle we will see the difference what system is doing when we add a product or when we add a bundle as a whole okay first I will add the two individual products that is television one and TV stand So as we have set up earlier, the price for television is 32,000 and TV stand is 2,000. So when I add these two products separately, you can see the total price is coming as 34,000. Okay, so now what I will do, right? I will remove these two products from here and I will directly add my bundle. So I will add this bundle TV plus stand. Here I have added both the uh, television and TV stand. And here you can see the difference right when I add a bundle the customer is getting an upfront discount of thousand rupees so with this the sales people who is working on the field they can talk to customers saying that if you purchase these two products together you will get a discount of this much price but if you buy these things separately you need to pay this much and here you can see some uh, rectify icon over here right so this is for the properties that we have set if you remember we have added the color property to our product family and that got inherited to our product as well and I have set that color property as mandatory so only if the salesperson enter the value for this property we can proceed with this opportunity so that's why we are getting this mark over here now as a salesperson I just need to expand this bundle I can see these two products here and I will just select the TV product over here for that we have added that properties color property and from here I can click on edit and go to product properties tab here I need to select the color so for this we will check with customer whether the customer is looking for black color or white color or gray color based on customers response I will set the color accordingly and then I will save this property and once this is saved we can progress with this particular opportunity
yeah now you can see there is a tick mark over here for this particular product once we set up the color property with this we are concluding this video so in the upcoming videos we will see how to set up uh, unit groups units price list price list items and discount list